Brought to you by WikiVD Documentaries. George W. Bush. George Walker Bush is an American politician who served as the 43rd President of the United States from 2001 to 2009. He was also the 46th Governor of Texas from 1995 to 2000. After graduating from Yale University in 1968 and Harvard Business School in 1975, he worked in the oil industry. Bush married Laura Welch in 1977 and ran unsuccessfully for the House of Representatives shortly thereafter. He later co-owned the Texas Rangers baseball team before defeating Ann Richards in the 1994 Texas gubernatorial election. Bush was elected president in 2000 after a close and controversial win over Democratic rival Al Gore, becoming the fourth president to be elected while receiving fewer popular votes than his opponent. From a prominent political family, he is the eldest son of Barbara and George H. W. Bush, the 41st President of the United States, making him only the second president to assume the nation's highest office after his father, following the lead of John Quincy Adams. His brother, Jeb Bush, a former governor of Florida, was a candidate for the Republican presidential nomination in the 2016 presidential election. His paternal grandfather, Prescott Bush, was a United States Senator from Connecticut. The September 11 terrorist attacks occurred eight months into Bush's first term as president. Bush responded with what became known as the Bush Doctrine, launching a war on terror an international military campaign that included the war in Afghanistan in 2001 and the Iraq War in 2003. He also promoted policies on the economy, health care, education, social security reform, and amending the Constitution to prohibit same-sex marriage. He signed into law broad tax cuts, the Patriot Act, the No Child Left Behind Act, the Partial Birth Abortion Ban Act, Medicare prescription drug benefits for seniors, and funding for the AIDS relief program known as PEPFAR. His tenure included national debates on immigration, social security, electronic surveillance, and torture. In the 2004 presidential race, Bush defeated Democratic Senator John Kerry in another relatively close election. After his re-election, Bush received increasingly heated criticism from across the political spectrum for his handling of the Iraq War, Hurricane Katrina, and other challenges. Amid this criticism, the Democratic Party regained control of Congress in the 2006 elections. In December 2007, the United States entered its longest post-World War II recession, often referred to as the Great Recession, prompting the Bush administration to obtain congressional passage of multiple economic programs intended to preserve the country's financial system. Nationally, Bush was both one of the most popular and unpopular presidents in history, having received the highest recorded presidential approval ratings in the wake of the September 11 attacks, as well as one of the lowest approval ratings during the 2008 financial crisis. Bush left office in 2009, returning to Texas where he purchased a home in Dallas. In 2010, he published his memoir, Decision Points. His presidential library was opened in 2013. His presidency has been ranked among the worst in historians' polls published in the late 2000s and 2010s. Early life and career George Walker Bush was born on July 6, 1946, at Grace New Haven Hospital in New Haven, Connecticut, as the first child of George Herbert Walker Bush and his wife the former Barbara Pierce. He was raised in Midland and Houston, Texas, with four siblings, Jeb, Neil, Marvin and Dorothy. 
Another younger sister, Robin, died from leukemia at the age of three in 1953. His grandfather, Prescott Bush, was a U.S. senator from Connecticut. His father, George H. W. Bush, was Ronald Reagan's vice president from 1981 to 1989, and the 41st U.S. president from 1989 to 1993. Bush has English and some German ancestry, along with more distant Dutch, Welsh, Irish, French, and Scottish roots. Education Bush attended public schools in Midland, Texas, until the family moved to Houston after he had completed seventh grade. He then spent two years at the Kincaid School, a prep school in Houston. Bush attended high school at Phillips Academy, a boarding school in Andover, Massachusetts, where he played baseball and was the head cheerleader. During his senior year, he attended Yale University from 1964 to 1968, graduating with a Bachelor of Arts degree in history. During this time, he was a cheerleader and a member of the Delta Kappa Epsilon, serving as the president of the fraternity. During his senior year, Bush became a member of the Skull and Bones Society as a senior. Bush was a rugby union player and was on Yale's first 15. He characterized himself as an average student. His GPA during his first three years at Yale was 77, and he had a similar average under a non-numeric rating system in his final year. Beginning in the fall of 1973, Bush attended Harvard Business School. He graduated in 1975 with an MBA degree. He is the only U.S. president to have earned an MBA. Family and personal life At a backyard barbecue in 1977, friends introduced him to Laura Welch, a school teacher and librarian. After a three-month courtship, she accepted his marriage proposal, and they wed on November 5 of that year. The couple settled in Midland, Texas. Bush left his family's Episcopal Church to join his wife's United Methodist Church. On November 25, 1981, Laura Bush gave birth to fraternal twin daughters, Barbara and Jenna. Prior to his marriage, Bush had multiple episodes of alcohol abuse. In one instance on September 4, 1976, he was arrested near his family's summer home in Kennebunkport, Maine, for driving under the influence of alcohol. He pleaded guilty, was fined $150, and had his Maine driver's license briefly suspended. Bush said his wife has had a stabilizing effect on his life, and attributes his 1986 decision to give up alcohol to her influence. While governor of Texas, Bush said of his wife, I saw an elegant, beautiful woman who turned out not only to be elegant and beautiful, but very smart and willing to put up with my rough edges, and I must confess has smoothed them off. Over time, Bush has been an avid reader throughout his adult life, preferring biographies and histories. During his time as president, Bush read the Bible daily. He also read 14 Lincoln biographies, and during the last three years of his presidency, he reportedly read 186 books. Walt Harrington, a journalist, recalled seeing books by John Fowles, F. Scott Fitzgerald, James Joyce, and Bill Vidal lying about, as well as biographies of Willa Cather and Queen Victoria, in his home. When Bush was a Texas oil man, other activities include cigar smoking and golf. Since leaving the White House, Bush has also taken up oil painting. Military career In May 1968, Bush was commissioned into the Texas Air National Guard. After two years of active duty service while training, he was assigned to Houston flying Convair F-102s. 
with the 147th reconnaissance wing out of the Ellington Field Joint Reserve Base. Critics, including former Democratic National Committee Chairman Terry McAuliffe, have alleged that Bush was favorably treated due to his father's political standing as a member of the House of Representatives, citing his selection as a pilot despite his low pilot aptitude test scores and his irregular attendance. In June 2005, the United States Department of Defense released all the records of Bush's Texas Air National Guard service which remain in its official archives. In late 1972 and early 1973, he drilled with the 187th Fighter Wing of the Alabama Air National Guard. He had moved to Montgomery, Alabama, to work on the unsuccessful U.S. Senate campaign of Republican Winton M. Blount. In 1972, Bush was suspended from flying for failure to take a scheduled physical exam. He was honorably discharged from the Air Force Reserve on November 21, 1974. Business career In 1977, Bush established Arbusto Energy, a small oil exploration company. Although it did not begin operations until the following year, he later changed the name to Bush Exploration. In 1984, his company merged with the larger Spectrum 7, and Bush became chairman. The company was hurt by decreased oil prices, and it folded into HKN, Inc. with Bush becoming a member of HKN's board of directors. Questions of possible insider trading involving HKN arose, but a securities and Exchange Commission investigation concluded that the information Bush had at the time of his stock sale was not sufficient to constitute insider trading. In April 1989, Bush arranged for a group of investors to purchase a controlling interest in the Texas Rangers baseball franchise for $89 million and invested $500,000 himself to start. He then served as managing general partner for five years. He actively led the team's projects and regularly attended its games, often choosing to sit in the open stands with fans. Bush's sale of his shares in the Rangers in 1998 brought him over $15 million from his initial $800,000 investment. Early political involvement in 1978, Bush ran for the House of Representatives from Texas' 19th Congressional District. The retiring member, George H. Mann, had held the district for the Democratic Party since 1935. Bush's opponent, Kent Hans, portrayed him as out of touch with rural Texans, and Bush lost the election with 46.8% of the vote to Hans's 53.2%. Bush, and his family moved to Washington, D.C. in 1988 to work on his father's campaign for the U.S. presidency. He served as a campaign advisor and liaison to the media, and assisted his father by campaigning across the country. In December 1991, Bush was one of seven people named by his father to run his father's 1992 presidential re-election campaign as a campaign advisor. The previous month, his father had asked him to tell White House Chief of Staff John H. Sun who knew that he should resign. Governor of Texas 1995-2000 Bush declared his candidacy for the 1994 Texas gubernatorial election, at the same time that his brother Jeb sought the governorship of Florida. His campaign focused on four themes, welfare reform, tort reform, crime reduction, and education improvement. Bush's campaign advisors were Karen Hughes, Joe Albar, and Carl Rove. After easily winning the Republican primary, 
Bush faced popular Democratic incumbent Governor Ann Richards. In the course of the campaign, Bush pledged to sign a bill allowing Texans to obtain permits to carry concealed weapons. Richards had vetoed the bill, but Bush signed it into law after he became governor. According to the Atlantic Monthly, the race featured a rumor that she was a lesbian, along with a rare instance of such a tactics making it into the public record. When a regional chairman of the Bush campaign allowed himself, perhaps inadvertently, to be quoted criticizing Richards for appointing about homosexual activists to state jobs. The Atlantic, and others, connected the lesbian rumor to Karl Rove. But Rove denied being involved. Bush won the general election, with 53.5% against Richards 45.9%. Bush used a budget surplus to push through Texas' largest tax cut, $2 billion. He extended government funding for organizations providing education of the dangers of alcohol and drug use and abuse, and helping to reduce domestic violence. Critics contended that during his tenure, Texas ranked near the bottom in environmental evaluations. Supporters pointed to his efforts to raise the salaries of teachers and improve educational test scores. In 1999, Bush signed a law that required electric retailers to buy a certain amount of energy from renewable sources, which helped Texas eventually become the leading producer of wind-powered electricity in the U.S. In 1998, Bush won re-election with a record 69% of the vote. He became the first governor in Texas history to be elected to two consecutive four-year terms. For most of Texas history, governors served two-year terms. A constitutional amendment extended those terms to four years, starting in 1975. In his second term, Bush promoted faith-based organizations and enjoyed high approval ratings. He proclaimed June 10, 2000 to be Jesus Day in Texas, a day on which he urged D all Texans to answer the call to serve those in need. Throughout Bush's first term, national attention focused on him as a potential future presidential candidate. Following his re-election, speculation soared. Within a year, he decided to seek the 2000 Republican presidential nomination. Thank you for watching. Brought to you by WikiVD Documentaries. Please like and subscribe below. Please like and subscribe below.